Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hyperslave Slave Cash Flow video. In this video, uh, we're going to be going over how to get a specific stat from the player endpoint in the API. Uh, this is something that I thought was really simple. Uh, usually people who have at least some basic experience with any coding language uh, tend to pick this up really quickly, but it seems a lot of my audience is actually really new people, which is amazing. I love uh, helping out new developers. And this question specifically came up a few times in uh, my Discord under like the API help section. If you haven't already joined my Discord, uh, there's going to be a link down below in the description. You'll see it everywhere, basically. Um, you can go ahead and join. And if you ever need help, we've got a coding help uh, section. And you can go and you can ask help, uh, for help there. And then uh, whatever, no matter what your question is, people will help you. Um, but uh, that's it. Uh, there's been a lot of requests over time, I think at least three different people now, who have asked for help on how to get a specific stat from the API. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, step one, I've got a basic setup here. I'm loading in my API key. This is just a synchronous setup. We're not doing anything fancy. I'm keeping it nice and simple today. We've got our URL. Uh, I'm hard coding in that we're checking Hyplex. And then we're storing that data into uh, storing all the data we get from that into a variable called data. And then we're just using pprint to print it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what this looks like. And you'll see this is why a lot of people get confused sometimes. So why is it like that? Um, give me a second here. There we go. I don't know why it was like that. Okay. So now if I run API contact, you'll see there's this mess. Okay. Uh, I honestly, that that's like worthless to me, all right? It's worthless to most people. So now we've got to implement the path, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to erase this, and we're going to have a new variable, which is going to be called stat, which we're going to get from data, and we're going to like put stuff in here, yeah? And then we're just going to print uh, for, for uh, l in stat, or for key in stat, um print key. so this is what we're going to use if it's if you're doing it like the manual way but i'll show you guys a much quicker way so first the quicker way um key i'll show you guys i've already got it opened up in a um thing here so you know that you were going and we're getting this it's going into player so you got to write this down yeah so player and then after player is stats, so player and then stats. And then let's say we want to get something like the amount of times that Hyplex has killed someone with while using session shield with his uh and he reflected like Shoop's main attack, okay? So this is very specific, ultra specific, okay? We're gonna be going all the way in. This is a lot harder than what you're normally gonna be doing if you're getting a normal stat from like better wind streak or something. But I'm showing you guys how I do it for like really hard stats. And if you can do it for hard stats, you can do it for easy stats, yeah? So let's go back and remember. Remember player, and then we've got stats. Next up, I think it's gonna be under Super Smash. This is a smasher section, okay? So player stats, super smash, and then class stats. And then I'll, I'll let's go back for a second just so that we we don't forget this, right? So now we're going to start writing this. Uh, we're just going to print stat um, for now. And so we're going to start writing this. So you go into player, and then you go into stats, and you're going to do it just like this. So it's player, stats, and then what was it? Super Smash. And then it's going to be um, yeah, Super Smash, and then class stats. And now if I show you guys again here, now we want to go to his main kit, which is Sergeant Shield. So Sergeant underscore Shield, all caps. And then we want to get the kills that he's gotten while using. Um, and this is where the knowledge comes in here. So I know that Shoop's main attack is called Static Laser. So right here, that's this. So he's got eight kills with Static Laser. Okay, this is the stat we're, we want to get. So remember, Sergeant Shield, and then we're going to Static Laser Smashed, okay? So now I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to show you guys. This is exactly how I do it. You can do this for all the stats you want. You can add them up. You can do whatever you want here. So Player Stats, Super Smash, Class Stats, and then it was 
Sergeant. Sorry, Sergeant Shield, just like that, uh, I think. And then here it was Static Laser. I believe it was like that, correct? Uh, yep, just like that, and then Smashed, okay? This seems like a lot, but that's because this is a very deep stat, okay? Normally, if you're just getting like Bedwars uh, win streak, like this would be Bedwars and this would be your win streak, okay? So it's like half the amount of stuff, almost. Um, so I'm just saying like, this is like a, an extreme example. If you can do this, you can do anything. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and run it and show you guys exactly what this looks like now. So just like that, I can show you guys. It gave us eight. Okay. It gave us eight. And that's actually the exact amount. If you look here, that's actually the exact amount of kills that we were looking for. So this is how you go and you get the stats. Now, let's say you don't want to do that. Okay. Let's say that is too much for you. Opening up a command prompt. Uh, no, sorry. Open up a, a Firefox, a browser is, is too much. I've got another strategy for you, yeah? So you're going to start with data. So stat equals data, okay? And you're going to for element in or for key in stat, print key. And this will show you all the keys, okay? So now when I run this, you'll see uh let me show you guys real quick you'll see there's two options success and player now we know that it's under play here so we're going to hide that and then we're going to go and then here we're going to add player and you're just going to build it one step at a time just like this yeah until you can't go anymore so like after we do this last one you can't go anymore so it's going to print errors but you know that when you're getting errors it means you're at a dead end so now i'm going to go ahead add that and then i'm going to run it now look at our options. Our options are a little more complicated here. If you do it this way, it's a little harder. We've got to scroll up past all this nonsense. And we know that somewhere near the top is probably where it's going to be. So ID achievements, no, it's none of these, none of these, none of these, none of these. It's probably going to be under stats. So we can go ahead and check that. So now we go into stats. And then we look at the options again. So now if I show you the options again. So here are the options. Now we know we want to go into Smash Heroes. What is the code name for Smash Heroes in the API? Super Smash. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at that. So I'm going to hide my command prompt again. And we're going to go in here and we're going to add Super Smash. And you just keep doing this, guys. I'm going to go all the way just for the example. Um, so that it's crystal clear exactly what you need to do if you want to do this. Now I'm going to show you guys command prompt once again here. Now we've got all our stuff within Smash Heroes. Now, something you guys may not know, something I know, something that if you need help with, you can ask in my Discord. I know that the class-specific stats are mainly held within this folder right here, class stats. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this again. And I'm going to go into class stats. Um, and then we're going to... Do it all over again. We're going to keep going just so that you guys know 100%. If you need to do something like this, you know that you've got at least two different ways of doing it. So here, now we've got a list of all our kits. Now what kit do we want? We're going to want uh, Sergeant Shields. Now we're going to go into Sergeant Shields. I'm going to hide this again and we're going to go in. We're going to add Sergeant Shield here. I'm just going to copy paste it because I'm lazy. And we're going to go again. And now another area here where you might not know this because you're not too familiar with how this works. However, if you come in our Discord, a lot of us are very familiar with all these games that we've been doing. So I know, for example, by heart, that uh, down here, Static Laser is the one we're looking for. I know Static Laser is exactly what we're looking for. Static Laser is the code name for Shoop's Main Attack, Shoop's Right Click. So we're looking for that right here. And then we're going to do it again one last time here. Um, static laser. And now we're going to run it again. And now look. Now you see these things. I recognize these. These aren't folders, okay? I recognize that these are not folders. These are individual stats. There's not a folder after this. There's just a number. So knowing that, we can't go any further with the strategy. So now look at what we do. So now I know we want smashed. 
So now what we do is we go into smashed. And then we don't do this. You don't do this. You just print out stat. Okay. You just print out stat. Make sure it works. And then you're good to go. Then you've got one stat down. And you can do as far as many as you want. You can do anything you want from here. That said, if you guys need any more help, I urge you to join the Discord. We have people to help. It's not just me anymore. There's so many wonderful people in the community who have been helping with so many of the projects. All the open source projects people have been contributing. Uh, we've got bounties if you want to help any of our open source projects, but you don't know how to code. You can check that out. I might be giving out free Hypixel ranks for that. So if you're interested in Hypixel ranks, you can come check out our bounty board for our stat bounties, which is mainly just like helping us figure out what certain stats mean for the API. Um, which is one of the reasons why we know what all these stats mean. We know all this stuff by heart. Um, so if you ever need help with any of this, like especially Smashers. I've done so much Smashers. Stuff. And like Quake as well. Uh, there's a lot of these game modes that if you need help with them, even Bedwars, you can come in our Discord. We'll help you. If you ever want to sponsor any of our stuff, you can always uh, go to my Patreon down below. You can take, take a look at that. Um, I don't have any Patreons right now, but it'd be wonderful. Uh, if some of you guys would like to sponsor some of my content uh, that said if you want to sponsor my content and you don't have the money Just leave me a comment down below if you have any questions making sure you press the like button uh, Make sure you subscribe if you want to stay up to date with like my most recent tutorial videos so that you're never um, Missing out on any information that could be really helping out with any of your projects Go do all that. That's all ways that you can support me um, and my tutorial videos uh, Without having to, to sub to my patreon or anything like that. Anyways, that's been it for this Hypixel API tutorial video